we have to try to build a clock tree we have to try to optimize this particular section and which also is valid for the other sections as well we have to try to optimize this section in such a way so that each and every clock buffer is driving enough load so let's try to do that so look into this particular section of the clock tree from uh, starting from this point till this complete neck and look into the other section of the clock tree that we have built just now so this one so from this neck from this neck if you if you move I'm putting only one buffer so let's try to swap between this one and the previous one swap slides between this one and previous one so in the previous slide let's start from this point in the previous slide you had a buffer over here you had a buffer over here and there was one buffer at the back side of these two buffers which was driving this two okay now in the modified clock tree what we are doing is we are pushing this particular clock buffer to slightly close to the fan out to the fan out node and then let this buffer drive both the flops as well as this wire so essentially what we are doing is we are increasing the load at the output node of this particular clock buffer similar thing we are doing for this one also